Really, people? Really? As you guys know, I mean, you guys know, some of you may or may not know, I the Keith Barnes. I wasted my money on this. Yeah. I don't even like holding that thing. It's just a nasty reminder of uh, a little under $100 wasted. <sighs> Anyway, Grant, uh, I almost said Grand Theft Auto. No, no, get out of my head. Call of Duty. Ghosts. That's plural. Was announced. Now, not only was it announced, but they released some fucking stupid random trailer that shows no gameplay, gives you no insight whatsoever of what the game contains. It shows nothing, absolutely nothing. It doesn't tell you the plot. It doesn't tell you what to expect. It doesn't show you shit. It's a fucking boring live action bullshit trailer that we don't want, Activision. Don't you get it through your thick fucking skulls? But apparently, it was enough to get some of you sheeple to pre-order it. That's right. Some fucking retards. And I'm sorry if I offend anybody. If you did it, I'm sorry. But why the fuck would anybody pre-order something that they don't even know what it looks like? You know why? Because it's called being a fucking sheep. It's called sucking the teat, kissing the ass of Activision. You guys are the fucking reason that they put no effort into their games every single fucking year. Why do you think MW3 piece of shit. Black Ops 2, royal piece of shit. Call of Duty Ghost, probably gonna be even worse. And you know what? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. If it looks decent, I'll probably buy it. But to actually go and pre-order a game when you have no idea what the game is even gonna have in it, that's pretty fucking retarded. Just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know why I just went ghetto there. Who gives a shit? It makes more sense than buying a Call of Duty you've never even fucking seen. With that being said, <laughs> you get a cool ghost camo. A cool ghost camo, man! I can go play Black Ops 2 that I wasted 65 to to $100 on because I got ghost camo. I can be Mr. Special. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just fucking stupid. It's a little bit of a rant here. Am I the only one that hates Black Ops 2? Am I the only one that hates MW3? Am I the only motherfucker here that is seeing the lack of creativity being put into the Call of Duty franchise anymore? The last good game we had, Black Ops 1. I just went and played Black Ops 1 two days ago. I couldn't even play it because it's full of campers. You know why? Because there's only like 50,000 people online. You know why? Because you guys are all playing this piece of shit. This piece of waste of shit. You know what? I spit on Black Ops 2. I split. I spit on an $85 piece of hunk of shit that I wasted my money on. With that being said, I'm not mad, bro. I'm past mad. I'm beyond mad. I'm to the point where I want to go rally up a bunch of you sheeple and blast you to the fucking moon because at least that would make more sense than buying a Call of Duty you've never even seen. You guys crack me up. This is a rant to a point, but this is more of putting opening the eyes Hi. Opening the fucking eyes of people that just show no interest in making Activision work for your hard earned dollar. Instead of that you guys are all fucking blind you guys all have tunnel vision, and you only think, Oh, it's a new Call of Duty. I'm going to go out and buy the new Call of Duty because it's Call of Duty. You guys just don't even care. I mean, you really don't. And the fact that anybody would go out and pre-order a Call of Duty that they've never seen, you're a fucking retard. It's as simple as that. And I don't care if I offend you because it's the fucking truth. It's not opinion. It's truth. I would never, and I mean never,
pre-order a game I haven't seen shit on. Grand Theft Auto V, I didn't pre-order that until I saw more. I knew, hey, you know what, it's Rockstar, it's GTA, they got a great track record with games, unlike Activision, they got great track record with games, but still, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to hold my pre-order off because I want to see more. I want to see if this game looks good and better than GTA 4, which in my opinion was a huge flop. So, let's be honest here. GTA 5, we've gotten a bit of info lately, and it looks very, very promising. Anybody that says it doesn't is a hater. Call of Duty Ghosts, we have a stupid live-action trailer that makes no sense. You guys, I don't know. I'm, I'm bored. I wanted to make a video about Ghosts, and I can't really be positive. Um, prediction number one. Today is May 10th, 2013. It is 1.30 in the a.m. Prediction coming from the Keith Carnes. Mock my motherfucking words. This game will suck. It'll be so fucking retarded. It'll have a good bunch of gay bullshit in it that helps all you fucking losers that don't know how to play a game correctly. That want to sit in your corners and camp with your shotguns and your fucking quick scope because you're so good. You guys. Please. For the, for the community that once loved Call of Duty. That once talked about Call of Duty. Like it was their own fun. You know what I mean? I mean, like, literally, what the fuck, people? I mean, you guys are like zombies. You're like, Bye, Call of Duty. Bye, Call of Duty. I mean, come on. Wake up. Wake up. I mean, if you guys have to smack the shit out of yourself, be my guess. It means waking up. Anyway, so, I'm putting that out here. May 10th, we don't even know what the fuck Call of Duty Ghost is going to be like. We don't even know what weapons we're going to have or not going to have. We have no idea how stupid or even dumber the fucking story looks. We have no idea what... We don't know, man. We don't know. Call of Duty Ghost, it's going to suck. Peace.